Hi, it's Natalie again here. I'm on day, well, I'm actually on day four, five, but I'm reporting on day four of my 28 day um, Jason Vale Super Juice Meat plan. Um, so it's all going really well. I haven't had any hunger still. Um, yesterday I did manage to get all of my juices in, which is the first time I've managed to do that. Um, the first few days I missed one or two um, each day. So I did actually manage to squeeze them all in yesterday. Um, on the night of the third day of day three, I was feeling as though I hadn't really lost any weight and I was feeling a little bit despondent and reminded myself that it's not just the weight that I'm doing this for, it's to get healthy, it's to have a complete reset of my body and um, all sorts of other health things, although I don't have any particular health problems. Um, I do have the odd niggling thing here and there, but I'm going to talk about one of those tomorrow actually. Um, so. Although I wasn't going to go into the obsessive weighing myself every day, uh, which is so easy to do and it's a typical thing that I would normally do, um, I did actually weigh myself yesterday morning and uh, to my surprise I had lost, so that was the morning of day four, I had lost two ounces short of four pounds. So I was really pleased with that and I am now starting to feel it, um, to feel like I'm losing the weight, that things are I just can, I can usually just feel, I'm surprised I couldn't feel it straight away, but I think it's because of the volume of the juices, so don't be put off, if you're feeling a bit sort of like you're not um, actually losing weight, try to not get obsessive about the scales, sorry my washing machine's going, <laughs> um, so I hope you can hear me all okay, um, so I'll whiz through this quickly before it starts the spin cycle, um, now it's Saturday today and the government have said that they may be considering a lockdown starting on Monday so I'm hoping that I can get all the ingredients still. Um, if not I'll just have to do some substitutions or just make do but that's not going to keep me from carrying on with this. Um, I'm really finding it easy. Um, I know everybody's different uh, but just it's this thing I was talking about yesterday that if you tell yourself it's going to be hard it, you're going to make it harder for yourself. Um, if you say it's not that hard and it's not for very long and you just stay focused on the results that you want, it will come much easier to, for you, I'm sure. Um, so the pulp, I just wanted to talk, I sound like I'm obsessed with the pulp, but it, there is just such a huge amount of pulp is being generated by this. So what I've started to do now, because we do have a composter, but there's certain things I won't put in the compost, like citrus. I think the ginger is probably a bit too strong for the local worms. Um, so what I've done is I've started to, because my slow juicer, it doesn't matter which order you put the ingredients in. I've started to put all the ingredients in first that will go in the composter. I then take that pulp away um, and then keep separate the remaining, the last things, where it might be something that's uh, that I wouldn't put in the compost and it's made a huge difference we've got loads of room in our composter um, and I've now got a fraction of how much pulp I had uh, another quick thing is I try to scoop out as much of the pulp as I can before I clean the juicer because um, otherwise I think and not have it all rinsed down the sink because although we've got one of those little trap things that that catches all these bits my husband will not be very happy if he's unblocking drains at the end of this 28 days so that's another thing to just bear in mind maybe just try and take out the worst of the pulp when before you clean your juicer without letting too much of it end up down the drain um oh yesterday um the thicky which is the juice that's blended with something was absolutely delicious it was the antioxidant king it was the nicest so far it had berries in it it pineapple it was really nice it had some other things too but they were the things that obviously made it really nice so that was nice and easy um, and also I did um, because Jason Vale says to have a hot um, water with lemon every morning before you have your shot um, so you have ideally the hot lemon um, with the, the hot water with lemon then the shot which is either a ginger and apple shot or a cucumber and celery shot it alternates the days between the two shots then you have your first proper juice um, and then the, there are two juices and two thickies over the course of the day so the, um, the the lemon juice in water to make it really easy what I did was I've done a video of it earlier on I've just done some lemons done I did four lemons I think it was that I juiced in the juicer in one go and I put them in some ice cube trays um, and I've put them in the freezer so I will put that video up as well um, shortly if it's not up by the time you see this 
Um, but that just seemed like a really easy thing to do. Just then get an ice cube of fresh and fresh, it's fresh lemon juice, it's fresh organic lemon juice, in fact, my one. Um, and then with the ice cubes, it's frozen really straight away to retain as many nutrients as possible. And then I can just drop one of those ice cubes in the water. The only thing, the only thing I've got an issue with, I used to do this before uh, hot le water and lemon. Well, I used to do water and lemon. Um, is I do have a little bit of an issue with the hot water because I always think that, the, well, I know that the water destroys the vitamin C, but if you're then drinking the water, that's fine because the vitamin C is in the water. But if you, when, as soon as you start applying heat, you also lose vitamin C. So there's three main things that destroy vitamin C uh, that we would normally sort of have our food come into contact with. One is air. So the longer it's, the older it is, the less vitamin C it has, it loses that, those nutrients. Um, heat is another one and water is another one if it's it's if it's one of the water soluble vitamins which vitamin c is so um i personally will do just cold water when i'm doing my lemon juice um but there is something i want to say about the lemon juice something that i found which is just specific i think to me but i'll talk about that tomorrow um in my video tomorrow because it ties into something else as well that i want to report that's gone on today but i won't do today's video until it's complete so i'll do that tomorrow anyway um i hope you've enjoyed this video and that it's helped if you're doing the plan too if you have already done the plan or you're doing it please do leave me a comment and let me know how you're getting on or how you got on and what your successes were or what your struggles were um, in the comments below and i look forward to seeing you in the next video thanks very much bye